A new tram across the Thames, you say? Well, quite possibly. Connect Tram is a sustainable public transport proposal aimed to connect the areas of Kent and Essex, hence Connect, across the Thames in the Thames Growth Area region. So where is this? It's out past Dartford towards the Ebbsfleet, Dartford area really. The initial network proposal aims to connect the transport hubs of Ebbsfleet International, Northfleet and Gravesend in Kent over to the Swascombe Peninsula and over the Thames into Chafford 100 and Perfleet on Thames in Essex, creating an integrated and enhanced local economy. At the heart of the proposal is a 1.2 km submergible tunnel which the trams will run through over on the North Kent coast and the South Essex coast. Now there are many reasons pro and con against trams and having a think off the top of my head I know a few cities that have adopted trams you know you have Birmingham, Manchester, Edinburgh, Sheffield as well with the super tram and of course let's not forget London Tramlink. I can also give you a list as long as my arm of current proposals that have been to and from, in proposal, cancelled and in all there's a lot of procedure that needs to go and happen before any of this becomes a reality. But saying this, I can see why this project has some legs. Ebbsfleet International has high speed one services which link to St Pancras and Ashford along with Eurostar services to the continent. You know, there's also Ebbsfleet Garden Village, Garden City now I think it's called, which is a pretty sizable and well ingrained development. Of course, there are plans about London Resort although that's still up in the air and going through various planning procedures. And that's a new entertainment venue for South East England. On the Essex side, you have links to Lakeside, another sizable shopping complex, and Grays as well, which is again, a commuter town. There are also some ideas to incorporate a BRT system on the Kent side to link Blue Water Shopping Centre and Darrant Hospital, along with a further phase B, which is under evaluation now, and this really extends out to the likes of Basildon and DP Wad, eventually reaching Canby Island. So all this has really come about because some plans around free ports. I'm not sure if you've read into it or know what free ports are, but in essence, it's a tax-free area for ports and development to, to happen and really boost the economy. So there's a series of free ports that were announced across the country with the main one in this region, being London Gateway. What else can I tell you about this? Well, it is in its infancy at the moment. You know, the trams could possibly use existing rail and, you know, tram trading systems can be brought in. Similarly, they could be using, you know, battery technology, which means you don't need to have overhead wires and catenary systems. Um, and all this, you know, could really help keep costs down, which speaking of, stands at currently 80 million pounds. Generally speaking, I think that's pretty cheap for a tram system this size. So I can expect costs to slightly increase, you know, once planning approval gets appro approved, if that ever happens, and also anything additional in terms of technology enhancements. And just before we end, you know, this map on screen, it is a variant of that produced on the Connect website. So please do go and check that out because there's tons and tons of information on there. It's by no means fixed. You know, it has a long way to go to planning approval. Sections may be altered, it may be changed. The whole thing might just be a useful concept. Who knows? In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks very much for sticking by. I know I've been in and out um, over the past year or so. Got a lot going on, but I'm back. I'm planning to do a race from London to Edinburgh, train versus plane. Who will win? Stay tuned next time. Boom.